Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 31 Poshmark Bolos coming your way. No, 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 no clothing. Um, hard goods, toys, stuff like that. Um, home goods. Yeah, no clothes. Not sharing the clothes. Mm -mm, not doing it. All right, you guys don't like the clothes, right? If you like clothes, uh, I guess tell me in the comments. Um, actually, if you like clothes, head on over to my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and check out the What Sold video that I did recently. I don't know when this video will post, but check out the What Sold's over there because the What Sold I just did, I shared the clothes and it was so weird because I don't normally share clothes and I was sharing them and I'm like, I hope everybody's okay with seeing the clothes. So sourcing with Bolo Buddies, go check it out. All right, let's get started with these Poshmark Bolo items. Items to be on the lookout for, items that I bought low and sold high. All right, the first item is this Willow Tree. So I pick up Willow Tree about any time I see it if the price is right. Um, I don't overpay for it because sometimes people want a lot of money for these. Uh, this one, I can't remember where I got it. I did not take notes on where I got it and what I paid for it. So I'm going to pull these from memory. Um, I pick these up at garage sales a lot for a buck or two. I have gotten a few in mystery boxes and I do find them from time to time at thrift stores. Now, I know there was one that I paid $5 for. This might have been that one from the thrift store. So let's just say I paid $5 for it. And I sold this for $23 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Gans Bear. It's cottage collectibles. I believe this came from a garage sale and just like a bulk buy of plush because it's not something that I would have just like picked up and said, oh, I'm going to buy this. So it had to have been with a bunch of plush that I bundled together. Um, I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't think it came out of a mystery box. It's one of those situations because it's not something that I would have picked up and said, oh, I want to buy this. This is going to sell. So this was kind of a learning one. The next item I sold is this Vera Bradley curling flat iron cover. I remember getting this. I picked it up at a garage sale. I want to say it was 50 cents because I know I bought two of them. The other one was a different pattern and it sold quicker. And this one took a little bit, um, but I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, these came in a mystery box, um, a mystery toy box. These are the vintage Darlin Dino dinosaurs. I had no clue what they were. I did Google Lens and I was like, oh, and I sold these for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold also came out of a mystery box and it was pre-owned, but it was in really great condition. It looked like it was not even used, um, but they're Code Hopper Active Play Mindware Stem Mat. So it's something to do with maybe coding. Jump into coding. I don't know. I have no clue what it is. I almost donated it back because I felt like it was kind of going to be too expensive to ship like on Mercari and eBay. So I put it on Poshmark and it sold for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Wade England miniature figures. They're just itty bitty, about this big. And um, I picked these up at a thrift store. It was like a baggie just full of these. And I sold these for $32 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, I do from time to time list these separately depending on what the item is. But these were all animal themed. So I went ahead and put these together. They're actually the Noah's Ark because you can see right here um, that I believe that's Noah and his wife, I'm assuming. And then there were two of each animal. Um, well, they're supposed to be. Some of them had two and some of them did not. But uh, it was not a complete set, obviously. And I have like some other ones listed and I've sold some others, but I had like some sea animals that I listed together. So sometimes I will categorize them by theme. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, this is another item that I really like to put on Poshmark. And the reason being is they're kind of heavy. So if I put it on eBay and I put it on Mercari, 
those shipping fees are going to be probably higher than what they would be on Poshmark. And somebody could also bundle on Poshmark. So I didn't get a ton of money for this. I only sold it for $13 and the buyer paid the shipping, but um, I didn't have to pay that shipping. If it was on Mercari, I have free shipping. So I would have had to pay that shipping. And on eBay, I think it would have deterred somebody from buying the item. The next item, these also, I believe, came out of a mystery box. It's a mixed lot of dinosaurs. Actually, this might have been a garage sale. I think I remember now it was a garage sale and I bought a bulk buy of toys. And I think this was a part of it. So I apologize. Um, got that mixed up. So this one sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Kathy Van Zeeland purse. Um, if I remember correctly, I was at a garage sale. I bought a bunch of stuff and I want to say she just gave me like three or four purses free. And I was like, okay, this is not something that I would source. I, I'm not even really a big fan of it. Um, I can't believe it sold to be honest with you. I'm not even sure why I listed it, <laughs> but anyway, it sold. So I'm happy. Um, sold for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage buttons. Um, so these came from a garage sale. It was a um, bulk lot of uh, sewing items. And I decided to sell these buttons separately. I sold them for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is awesome. One of, um, I went to a garage sale over the summer and do you ever go to a garage sale and you get home and you kind of kick yourself because you didn't buy more? That's what I did. They had a whole table full of like NASCAR and stuff like this. Um, not all of them were this cool. Most of them were t-shirts, but I probably bought 30 and they were like a buck each. Okay. And they had told me that they had a storage unit that had more. And I was like, okay. And I kind of just wasn't real sure about it. And then I went home and listed everything. And I'm like, you know, that wasn't so bad because I'm kind of over clothes. And that's a lot of the reason I didn't buy more is because I don't want to list clothes. But um, the vintage tees and stuff like that, I think I need to keep um, an open mind about that stuff. So I think it was the next day I went back and I knocked on their door and I was like, Hey, I was here. You had mentioned that you had a storage unit and you were maybe interested in selling some of the other items to me that were because they had brought it up. And I talked to the daughter and I left my phone number and nobody ever called me. So uh, I kind of lost out on that deal. But um, he didn't have them at the sale anyway. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe she forgot to give him my number but I will definitely be going back to that garage sale if I see it on the garage sale post this summer. I sold this for $75 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's really, really cool. And what I've been doing lately, because I'm kind of over putting measurements in my listings, I will do this. So it shows, um, well, it doesn't really show it that good, does it? Uh, you can kind of see, what's that say? Um, 26 inches across the front and approximately 33 inches long. So you can tell, um, but that's what I've been doing. So it's easier, but if people don't look at the pictures, then they don't know, but everything went fine with that transaction and all good. The next item came, I believe this was came. Oh my gosh. I cannot talk. I think this was in my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay or it came from a garage sale. One of the two, either way, I had probably 10 cents in it and I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these um, vintage refrigerator magnets. And I actually did a mystery box unboxing today and um, I found some of the ABC vintage magnets. So they are not as nice as these. These were really, really, um, really nice. Good plastic, uh, really solid. So I sold these best offer for $35. Poshmark took seven. So my earnings on this was 28 and I probably had a dollar in all of these magnets. So these are shape magnets and these are educational magnets that are in the shape of like um, animals and different things like that, if I remember correctly. 
The next item I sold is this vintage license plate tag and it's Tigger from uh, Winnie the Pooh. And I sold this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. This is new old stock. I picked this up at a garage sale in a bulk buy of Disney items. Um, the lady was a hoarder and she was having some major emotional attachment to these items when I was trying to buy them, um, which is completely fine, but it's really, really hard to um, negotiate. Um, I threw out an offer and then she was like, oh no. And then I don't know if it was her daughter or a friend who was helping her sell the items, but she's like, I think it was her daughter. Cause I think I remember her saying, mom, we really need to sell these items. And she kind of talked her through it. And, you know, she just had a lot of stuff and, you know, we all kind of accumulate stuff as resellers. We know what it's like to accumulate lots of inventory, but ours is inventory. And for me, it is easy to sell. So I can't imagine having um, that attachment to things, but I ended up buying all of her Disney items and I can't remember what I paid for it, but I probably have a dollar or less than this item. The next item I sold is this Pioneer Deluxe Jumbo 20 page photo album. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. This is really, really big. Um, I can't remember what the dimensions are, but it's very um, like wide, I guess. And it's very heavy. So I was very happy that this sold on Poshmark for $30 buyer paid shipping. I think I said that already. The next item I sold are these character education children's books. And I took a, or I almost said I took a best offer. Uh, I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are just educational books like You Can Count on Me, Following the Rules, Telling the Truth, Dare to Have Courage, um, How to How You Understand, so or Show You Understand, sorry. So these came from a thrift store and I think they were a quarter each if I remember correctly. The next item I sold is this Paw Patrol learning watch. And for some reason I got four star feedback. I noticed that when I um, was pulling this item up to show you guys, I'm like, why did I get four stars? I mean, I don't know what I did wrong. I put a thank you sticker. I put tissue wrap around it. You know, you gotta do all that stuff with Poshmark or you get lower scores, uh, stars. Um, eBay is so laid back, like people have no expectations. Like Poshmark, they want a bow and a free gift. And I don't know, that took some getting used to. I don't offer free gifts when I send my items. I do put a thank you sticker on it because I watched YouTube videos and everybody's like, you have to do something thanking the people, like write a card or something. And I'm like, I'll get thank you stickers. <laughs> like, that's it. That's what I'm doing. So maybe I'm a horrible reseller. And I don't know, you guys probably sell on Poshmark if you're watching this, put a comment down in the description of, or I'm sorry, put a comment in the comment section telling me if you sell on Poshmark, what do you do? Do you give a free gift? Do you put like a thank you card? Do you write something out? Like, are you super fancy with bows? And just tell me about it. Tell me about your experience because I have been selling on eBay since 2005 and there is none of that over there. So. Uh, Poshmark is a whole different platform for sure. The next item I sold is this Deadliest Catch Sea Adventure board game, and it is new um, in the plastic, sealed or still sealed. And this came out of a mystery box. This was another item that I was not going to put on eBay because comps were not good. I was not going to put it on Mercari because I offer free shipping and I wasn't going to pay $10 to ship it to someone. So I put it on Poshmark and honestly, I was completely shocked that it sold. I would never have sourced this item because the comps were low on eBay and I didn't make tons of money. It's definitely a bread and butter item, but it sold pretty quick. I sold it for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Pendleton women's um, cardigan. I honestly thought this was going to be a big money bolo. I was super excited when I found it. I got it at an estate sale. I I think it was $2 if I remember correctly. And I don't know. I just uh, thought it was going to go for more. And unfortunately, I only got $30 for it. But Pendleton is a great brand to look for. Um, 
I've got the measurements down here and I bought a bunch of Pendleton from this sale and most of it sold pretty quickly. This one took a little bit longer, but again, I sold it for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Leap Pad Phonics Program Lesson Games. They are sealed, new in the packaging, new old stock. Purchased these in a bulk buy at a garage sale, so I probably have a couple bucks in all of them, if that. The next item I sold is this Money Man jacket, and this either came out of a mystery box or this came out of the Halloween box that I purchased from Auctions for You. It's a YouTube channel where I purchase um, inventory, and I had bought uh, a bulk lot of Halloween items. This item, I only sold it for $7, but I had next to nothing in it, probably less than a dollar. So, um, $7 buyer paid shipping. So I was really quite happy with that because it really was just the jacket, nothing fancy. The next item I sold, and I know I said no clothing, but I really don't count vintage clothing as clothing because it's not really items that you can go out and source right now. So in my title, it says no clothing, but the reason I am including this again is because it's a vintage item that you're not going to find every day that you're going to need to look at thrift stores and garage sales for. You can't just go out to the store and get it now. Same with the Pendleton. It's a vintage item. So those will be included even if it says no clothing. So I hope that's, is that okay? <laughs> is it okay to put no clothing in the title? If Let me know what you think. Okay. So this is a Disney Classics Princess 3T bibs. It is adorable. Um, and you can see here's the vintage tag. It's a size 3T and this sold for $30 um, and the buyer paid shipping and this came from a garage sale. The next item, and I think it was a dollar. The next item is this vintage Playmobil city service trash truck came from a garage sale, huge bulk um, buy of toys. And I sold this for $45 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I probably got a couple bucks in that. The next item I sold is this holiday, holiday time poop emoji singing, dancing plush. And he sings, you can't touch this. So dancing poop emoji. What is this world coming to? Dancing poop. Um, it was new with tags. I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. And if I remember correctly, this came out of a mystery box. And the last set of items, this was a bundle. And one thing I really like about Poshmark is people will do things like this and it is fantastic. So these items I have sourced at garage sales and thrift stores, different places. And um, they are the Loving Family, uh, Loving Family Dollhouse items. And you can see here, these are the prices that I had the items listed for. So they bundled and they sent me an offer for $95. Um, this one plays music and the TV pushes down. So that one's kind of neat. This is a three piece set. This one has multiple pieces to it. So um, $95, Poshmark took 19. So my earnings on this was $76. And I can't really say for sure what I have in all these items, but not much because I pick them up at um, different places and I typically buy them in bulk. So um, like I'll buy a dollhouse that'll have all of the accessories and then I will sell the accessories individually. So I typically do not sell them with the dollhouse. I've sold probably three or four of those dollhouses. I have one listed right now. They are big, they are annoying to ship, I've gotta tell ya. Um, it's just hard finding a box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a box that's that big. And you wanna get it to fit as compact as possible, otherwise it goes into like the oversized box and then it's like crazy expensive. All right, you guys, let me know what you think about this video. Um, am I in trouble for including vintage clothing, even though I put no clothing in the title? Um, and then let me know what you think about like the free gifts, the thank you notes, you know, I'm guessing the eBay sellers, I know what they're going to say. And I'm pretty sure I know what the Poshmark sellers are going to say. So it should be interesting to see what everybody puts in the comments. So comment below. All right, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.